I'm building a new computer and what I'm looking at doing is trying to get this that's a 4090 into this case here which is a Cooler Master NR200 with the MSI motherboard but we may notice So, I think I've got my work cut out for me. It's currently about 28 degrees at 11.30 at night as well, so that's probably why you might be able to hear an aircon. Uh, I'm going to have to try and get this into here somehow. It's definitely bigger than the opening. Definitely going to have to remove that front shield. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to unscrew that may try to unscrew the other side might drop the base out because I don't think I can remove the front panel that's right up there but that back section that possibly is an allen key I'm gonna have to double check that if it is I might be able to slip it out but it might be easier just to drop the base out and lift the GPU up into it. I'm also doing all this before I put the CPU in because I figure that I can always do the CPU later. I can mount everything later, but I need to get the GPU in. And the last thing I want to do is somehow fuck up all that because I'm trying to do something crazy like get the GPU up through the bottom or even drop it through the top like down through the top there which means that I might have to move that out of the way move all those cables that's one way I could do it which I should have enough space because I've got that piece there but I'm gonna have to try a few different ways Okay, so I've got all the panels off at the moment. That's the front bottom beam that's off. Turns out there's no screw down there, so I'm going to have to use one of the extra screws that I have. Because there's one over there. But I'll have to remove that back panel or loosen it up. Because it just doesn't quite fit in through that cap. Get the CPU or the motherboard in and go from there. Can I just point out as well, in case you're ever wondering, that's 1.7 kilos. This thing is nearly 2 kilos in weight alone. This is a fucking heavy graphics card. And if you want to compare, this is my old 1660, that's 630 grams. So the 4090 is two to three times the weight. On another note, I've got it in there. So it's just propped up some chair cushions underneath for the moment, because I am going to put something underneath there just to just to stop it sagging I've only got one screw in it was a bit tricky so these notches at the back here had a bit of trouble where I don't think they were quite bend as much as what I needed them to be so I had to put a little bit of force on it but other than that it seems to have gone in all right I was a little concerned that I might have bent it but I checked over everything, it should be okay. Yeah, I think, I think that caused a few issues. I don't think they were quite, because it was catching up there. Just wasn't getting past that lip.
did a few more things that night. Back to it again. Got my power supply put in the cage. That cable that was for the HD audio. Come on, come focus. That one there. So I ended up, I just disconnected it because what I've done, I've run, you can see in the back there, I've run the on off power cable through the back and it is right down in there. That way you can't see any cables. Unfortunately, the one that, if I get a torch, that cable plug right in there, kind of can see it, that one. That's where the HD audio would go into. I can't for the life of me get the cable through there and into that plug all at the same time. So I don't use the HD audio, I use a wireless headset, so I'm not going to worry about it. Got my hard drive in, which that arrived this morning. And I've got some RAM. That also arrived. No RGB, I'm not worrying about that. Sort of want to go for a full stealth black look. Um, a few other plans, I'll get the USB cable down through the bottom there, into about there. RAM will go in. Got a Noctua cooler for that, so that'll go in on top. Yeah, it's coming together. CPU is in. We've got a cooler. So that'll go on top. Had to feed that through first. Up the top there, remove all that, feed it through. Then get the, or had to get that bracket on, put the CPU in and then put this bracket on here. Because if I do a cooler, probably won't be able to get that in. Let's have a look at it. The space of it and everything. I just don't know what space I have, so just want to play it safe. Yeah. It's all coming together. CPU is in, the cooler is in. I've got a wire adapter because I am going to. Get another fan, put one in the back there. That way it's a push pull. That is going to plug in down to that point there. So for the time being, I can just plug that straight in. But with the wire adapter, I'll be able to split and run both off that one head. Yeah. And there we go. I've got a just hooked up to the TV just so that I can see what's happening. Make sure that it started up. Kind of freaked me out because I didn't have the power point on and this was on. I'm thinking, oh, maybe I screwed up somewhere, but no. Cable's a little tight there. 12 volt high power, I'm gonna wrap around the side. If you have a look, by the time the glass goes in the front, that should be fine. Last lot of stuff, had to rewire some of the cabling around the top there because of the back, I didn't realise the back panel wasn't going on. Um, down the bottom, I'll be able to see it. I've got some little rubber bumpers, like that, just to hold up the GPU. Uh, you can we see one right there. And I've worked out that the fans that they supply you with are gonna be too thick. So left hand side is fine, but the right hand side, because my power supply hangs down, I had to pull it up a bit, it's gonna hit on that. So I'm gonna get some slightly thinner fans, get another fan for the back there, and that's it. It's all done.